Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make these stickers using my Cricut. Now I have three disclaimers. One, my camera stand broke so I will be doing this one-handed. Two, I will be using the tablet versus the computer so there is a bit of a different layout on this. And three, I am not a professional. This is what works for me. This is how I make mine. So please, like I said, this is, you gotta find what works for you. And I'm very simple, the computer kinda frustrates me and it's simpler for me on the tablet. So yes, let's get into it. The image I picked is my son and my daughter. I drew them here on the iPad Pro and then I just saved it as a JPEG, uploaded it, and then I, once it was uploaded, I selected it from the little photo library there. And that's what I'm gonna use. I think it's so cute and I like that books that say this book belongs to Daisy or stickers used on little assignments the teachers allow, you know, little notes or questions on notes and stuff like that. So let's delete this part because we won't need it. And I'm going to attach them together with the attach button right there at the bottom. And that allows the image to be printed together as a pair versus if you pick to print multiple, they will have a whole row of Daisy and a whole row of Josiah. I want them to actually look like this when they're printed. So just sizing it up, making sure that it looks the way I want it to. Then I'm gonna click print right here on the bottom right hand and I have to replace it. I had something on my mat. So that's what it's gonna look like. Now, I want it to, to not, to, I wanna show you the bleed button. So that's, you're gonna see a difference, maybe because it's far away, you can't see it too well. But the bleed button is hard to explain versus I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna click the not bleed because the image is going to bleed a little bit, but when it cuts it, it'll cut it perfectly fine. Then I'm gonna pick how many I want. I wanted eight and I accidentally wrote 18. Make sure you type in the correct number, although if you do type in like 100, which I've done, and I only wanted 10, you can go back and change it. So now that it's sending it to the printer, oh, no, it's not, it's not sending it to the printer. It was giving me the amount of images. And I chose eight. I actually have another spot, so I'm gonna pick nine then it's gonna show me nine images. Now, normally I would print out stuff on the whole sticker sheet, but for the video, I'm just doing simple. And I'll go back and I'll reuse that paper, the sticker paper. I never waste, so there, just letting you know. Now, as you can see here, there's no image on there, and that has to do with the bleed button. I don't know what it is, but whenever I draw images, it shows it like that versus if it was a digital image. So I'm gonna click the bleed feature and there you go, it pops out. Now I'm gonna select print. My printer is already connected so it was already on there. And then I'm gonna print it out and I'll come right back. Okay, see the bleed feature where there's like actual little gray lines around it? That's the bleed feature. Now excuse my mat, as you can see it's dirty, it's older, I need to clean it or I need a new one. I have a new one, but I'm saving it because I have some wedding projects that I will be doing this coming week. So I'm gonna glue it on really well or tack it on really well and then I'll come back. Like I said, I'm doing this one-handed. Now that it's already on, I'm gonna show you the labels that I use. I use onlinelabels.com, that is the actual name of it. And I found this one at the thrift store for 75 cents for the whole pack. It was awful. Now, my absolute favorite brand is the Avery brand. This one, I purchased it from office supply stores like Office Depot or Staples. I'm sure there's other ones. This other one is called Starline, and this one's a thicker paper. Now, next to the Avery, it's kind of yellowy, but the sticker is amazing. I really like how that feels. Now, today, I'll be using the Avery paper. Once the image is printed out and I like it, then I'll click the continue button next to the printed button. And if you don't like the way printed, there's the reprint button there as well. Now, right here where it says poster board, 
I need to change my dial over to custom. Dusty machine. Turn it over to custom. And the materials, the top three that are used are right there on the top with the little star. They're starred, so those are my top three. I click over to all materials and that's where I will find sticker paper. Here's all the materials that you can choose from and it'll adjust your your um, blade to it. But we're gonna go down all the way to paper. And it gives you again all these different types of paper, all the material, and we're gonna click all the way down to sticker paper. Now you have to mess around with it because one time I got a sticker paper that I really didn't like and I clicked on sticker paper and it didn't cut well but I used a different setting and that one did. So you kind of just have to mess with things. Anyways, cutting with sticker paper works amazing with Avery, Avery paper. So we're gonna put it, upload the little mat and gonna get ready to cut. All right. The mat is going to be detecting the, the the sensor marks and then get ready to cut. All right, there you go. Man, I wish it would actually cut this fast. It'd be amazing. Jingling means my dog is near. All right, like I said before, I can't reiterate this enough. This is how it works for me, how I do it, and it's very simple. I'm not a professional. I know there's people who do an amazing job, and there's other tutorials for that. This is the simple simple one, and this is how I, I do this. Now, we're going to unfold it this way with the mat upside down because we don't want the sticker paper to fold and the stickers to bend. And with one hand, it's kind of hard. But that's you get the gist of it, lifting up doing it upside down and then lifting up the green mat. So now we're gonna cut on the sensor lines and make them into individual stickers. Man, it's so hard to do this with one hand. So I'm gonna cut them up and make some for my son, for my daughter, and then that way they can each have their own individual ones. There you go, like that. Now here is a finished product. As you can see, there's the bleed line, the gray one. And as you can tell, the image with the, the, the one I drew has the gray bleed line around it because I had to go and when I was uploading the image, it was where I had to erase it versus this one with the Maggie Holmes characters. This is the digital pack that I have and it's a lot cleaner as you can see those the butterfly right there when you upload those images it's a lot cleaner than if I were to draw but still even though it has the bleed image or the bleed setting it still cuts it really well so now with that being said I created these little bookmarks for my kids and that way they can have their personalized one and I made them flat because I would make them chunky but since they're going into a book, it's pretty flat. But one for my daughter, one for my son. Easy and simple. I mean, you can make these using digital images that you have already on file. And this is the way I make them. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was easy for you guys. And for all you beginners out there, find out works for you. Thanks, guys. Bye.